Hi, everyone. Let us use this session to review mass units. Let us start with the AMU. So one AMU, how do we define this AMU? It is defined as one twelfth of the mass of a carbon atom. But the mass is a relative mass. So what do I mean by relative mass? If we recall from our previous lecture, the nucleus of a carbon atom had a total of six protons, four, five, six. And the most common carbon, which is a carbon 12, it also had six neutrons, three, four, five, and six. And of course, it will have a total of the same number of electrons compared to the protons. So we would expect to have six, one, two, Five and let's draw another one here. Six. And in this case, carbon 12 that has a total of six neutrons plus six protons, this would mean that one atom of carbon has a total of 12 amoles. So the atomic mass have a atom of carbon is 12 amoles. That's how we would calculate the mass of a carbon atom because one amoles is one twelve, and here we have 12, therefore we have 12 amoles. We can also discuss what is known as mole. Mole, or it can also be called gram mole, or simply we can call it mole. Either way is fine. So this is defined. It is defined as the amount of substance when we have 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. How does this number come to play a role here? Well, because it was determined experimentally, so through experiments, that 12 grams of carbon 12 has those 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. And this number is what we know as the Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number. And this means that one mole of carbon 12 would have a atomic mass of 12 grams. This atomic mass can also be called relative atomic mass. Sometimes it is also called molar mass or atomic weight. These are different ways to refer to the atomic mass. So now let us explore some elements in the periodic table. Yeah, so there we are. 
the latest look for carbon. So here's carbon. So carbon says 6 and 12.01. Why do we have that? So if I go back to my slide, say that we have the element carbon, it has six and it has 12.011. We already know that this six is my atomic number. And this means that I have six protons. And of course, I will have six electrons. And this will be my atomic mass. So this will be atomic number. And there's my atomic mass. The atomic mass is 12.011 grams. Why do we have 12.01 and not 12? Well, because if you remember, we also have different type of carbons, different type of isotopes. So we have carbon 12, but we also have the existence of carbon 13 and the existence of carbon 14. So when we calculate the average mass of these different isotopes, the result is 12.011 being slightly larger than carbon 12 because this carbon 13 or the carbon 14, they have extra neutrons, which means that the mass of the atom will be slightly higher. And when we average all those values, we get 12.011. Let us take another example. Let me go back to my periodic table and let's take iron. So iron has symbol Fe, and we have 26 and 55.85 approximately. In the case of iron, I have a 26 and I have a 55.845. And here, my atomic number is 26. number 26. These are the number of protons that one atom of iron has. And this other number is my atomic mass. Meaning that 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of iron have a mass of 55.8. 84, 5 grams. That is the meaning of this number. And if this is the case, let us then ask ourselves one question. So how many atoms, how many atoms do we have? One gram of iron. So to answer this question is, is actually very simple because one gram, what we want to find is one gram of iron. We're going to multiply this by, by this atomic mass. So we know that one mole of iron has 55.845 grams. And at the same time, one mole of item, so I'm going to write one mole of item as the denominator, has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms of item. So one divided by 55.845 and multiplied by 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms will give me a final value of one point. 078 times 10 to the 22 atoms. That would be my answer.